Well, Duck, that is our stay done and dusted in Esperance. Oh, yeah, we loved it here. The beaches, like we said, are just world class. So today we've got a 200k ride down to Hopeton. Um, we're sort of retracking our path for about 100k's and then we branch off and follow a coastal road into Hopeton. Uh, and then we've got Fitzgerald River National Park. We're going to have a bit of a look in there today, but we're staying in Hopeton and then um, from there, I think we've got two days in Stirling Range National Park, is that right? Yeah. yeah. So we're really looking forward to that, get into some national parks, have a good look around, and um, then work out our next move from there. Yep. So alright, fire that uh, WR up and let's get out of here. We are on the road again, heading back towards Ravensthorpe and then turn off towards Hopeton. So see you later Esperance, bloody loved it. Roll, Jack. Well, that's much better, honey. Off the uh, off the highway, heading towards the coast. Well, this is our lucky day, Jack. We found some dirt. Beautiful. Bit of coro here. That we're not always living the dream. We're in the pouring rain at the moment and loving it. Southern Ocean Road towards Starvation Bay. So it's probably about 10 k's down here and we'll be right on the coast. Starvation Bay. A couple of kayakers there out in the water. Must be going for a fish. We might go in and have a quick little look at this. Campsites all the way along here, Jack. A little bit unexpected. Oh, yeah, you got four wheel drive beach access down on the sand. Cool spot. Stopped along the coast road for some lunch. Yeah. Jackie's uh, whipping up a couple of yeah. couple of wraps on the side of the road. Yeah. And we can hear the ocean just on the other side here. So I think I might throw the drone up and have a bit of a look. Yeah, what do you reckon? See what it is. Yeah. Let's have a yeah, look. This where, what paradise we're in. Yeah. Let's do that. Coming into Hopeton. Right on the water. There's the hotel. 
it feel. Let's have a look down here, shall we? This is beautiful. Look at those ranges. I am getting called to that mountain range big time. I just want to head out there right now. All right, let's go to our caravan park and uh, find our spot set up and then we can go exploring. Let's do it. Hopeton Beachside Caravan Park. Does that sound like it? There's the office. This is where you go and do your thing yet again. Well Jack, we are getting super quick at that. That's 20 minutes flat, no question. Done. We are off into town, get a drink. And then we're going into the National Park around here, uh, Fitzgerald River National Park. So we're going to have a bit of a cruise around there, see if we can get into trouble, find some gnarly tracks, hopefully. Anyhow, we'll see how we go. Let's go and get a drink first and head in there. We're in Hopeton at IGA and we've just met these three boys. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan, how are you, mate? Good, how are you? Good, good. What's your name? Tyler. Sorry? Tyler. Tyler, how are you, mate? Good yourself. And what's your name? Blake. Blake, how are you, mate? Good yourself. You guys live here, obviously? Yeah, so what's what's there to do around here? What's the Nothing what's the national there. park like? There's a few tracks good. Up there. Is there? Good for riding? Yeah. Alright, well, well into Reiki, there's some good tracks. Yeah, well I'll take your advice for it and I'm about to go out there now, so alright, good to meet you boys. Ryan Fitzgerald River National Park, that is what we are after. Let's go and have a look Jack, just look some fun around. Lake to the right, ocean to the left, and a huge mountain in the middle. Gerald River National Park, we are here. So that's Hopeton right over there in front of us. Magnificent is what it is. Unfortunate for Jack and I, we just got to a road closed, which is where the dirt started. Uh, apparently they've closed them off because of bad weather. I don't know, I see the sun in the sky. It kind of drives you mad when you come all the way in here on the blacktop and get to the dirt tracks and they're closed. Anyhow, we'll go down a bit further, go as far as we can in here and then uh, turn around. This is not our lucky day to hit dirt today. places it's really not explored which is a real shame but uh, anyone that's coming down this area make sure you come to Hopeton and make sure you check out this national park where we 
wanted to go on the dirt but it is closed such a sad sight anyhow we'll find more dirt just not today magic forest coming right down on the coast Along the side of the road, the RV park, is Craig and Lee and Enya and Katie. And they've got a fire going. So anyhow, Jack and I, we're going to have a couple of ales with them. And I think we're getting a feed yet again. These guys just continue to look after us. We are truly blessed. Anyhow, back to the fire. Well, Jack, we're living the dream here in Hopeton. Day two, pour and rain. I think uh, we might be in here for a while. I can't even hear you. <laughs> well, I'm going to be in that chair editing if I can hear myself think. Well, this passes. We might have two days of this, so Sterling Range National Park might be on hold for a day or two. Well, we're out of Hopeton. We've got a We've been here for three days and we've been stuck in the rain for two days. And uh, we've just found a break in the weather. The roads were closed, they were flooded. They've just opened and there's a break in the weather. So we're gonna head to Mount Barker, which is about 350 k's west of here. And there is sunshine, no rain. So Jackie and I packed up in about 15 minutes flat and we're out of here. But before we go, we met a couple, Dean and Jude, who have been on the road for 20 months. And they are on, motor, on a motorbike with a sidecar. So before we go, we thought we've got to stop over here and uh, show you guys all about this thing. This is unreal. It's a BMW GS 1250 with a sidecar. And these guys have been on the road for 20 months. So before we go, I uh, have to have a show you around this thing. Because this thing is unreal. So this is Dean. How are you, mate? Can you give me a little rundown of this thing? Um, well, first of all, it's a 2019 R1250 GSA Adventure BMW. Yep. Um, which I bought new in 2019. Yep. To do our around the world tour and then COVID hit. Yes. So we decided to do it on a sidecar with a sidecar yep. in Australia. Mm -hmm. So that is a. Um, DMC expedition from the US built yep. in Washington to suit this bike. Right. And uh, we 20 months on the road, about 38,000 k's. 38,000 k's, uh, unreal. Uh, yeah, it's still running every minute of it. Yeah, this thing is loaded up to the hilt. Um, you'll see he's got the Denali spotties on there that'll light up everything. Really well kitted out, this bike. It's got everything. Dean and I have been chatting for the last day since they arrived about the full setup and everything and there's just too much to mention there's so much but um jude jude used to ride um doesn't ride anymore but uh she still gets the experience of it sitting in the sidecar so yeah. i was thinking how much wind would she get it's not too bad yeah, not she, too can, bad. Uh, she can sit in there and read maps and things yep. yeah she's writing a book about our trip so she's typing away all the time sitting there and i can control the camera the bike Oh wow. Super oh, road conditions. Because wow. these things are really sensitive to camber on the road. Yep. Um, and you 
need to have the bike leaning away from the sidecar. Yep. Otherwise, it's trying to pull your left all the time. Right. Uh, yeah, so these guys used to ride individually. But as I said, Jude doesn't ride anymore. So this is the next best thing. Uh, and like I said, they've been on the road for 20 months now. And um, I, after chatting to Dean, I can't see them settling down for anything else. I reckon no. they'll just continue on traveling around. But uh, anyhow, Jackie and I, we're going to head off now. Um, we want to beat the weather, get out to um, <coughs> Mount Barker before the rain hits. We'll try and, try and get out there before we get smashed with it and uh, get to the sunshine. But just wanted to show you this. Um, we haven't seen many bikes on our trip and this was one to show you. So anyhow, let's hit the road. Alright, we'll see you later. See you guys. Well, see you later, Hopeton. We are out of here, chasing the sunshine. We've got a 350k ride ahead of us. The roads are open, and we are out of here. Mount Barker, sunny this afternoon. Quick little stop here at Hopeton IGA, and we are out of here. Uh, looks like we're going into a bit of pouring rain, so I'm going to take this GoPro off, so I probably won't uh, video anything until at least we get to Ravensthorpe's, probably about, I don't know, 50, 60 k's up here, and we'll have another look, but, yep, we're about to get the pouring rain. All right, let's go. Well, we left Hopeton <clears throat> on the plan to get to Mount Barker, which was 350 k's. We've got to Jamungarup, which is 150 k's from Hopeton, so we're 200 k short, but it's 2.30 already. It's been pouring rain, we've been absolutely drenched, so we've pulled into this caravan park and we will be staying here the night. We have definitely had enough, haven't we Jack? That was full on, that was as windy as I've ever ridden in, and torrential rain, and uh, we've just had enough, so we're going to pull up stumps here for the night, going into the town, get something for tea, and we're going to go into this cabin and thaw out, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We've had enough. So anyhow, let's. Uh, we've got the bags unloaded. Let's go into town and um, get some supplies for tea, and then that's it for the day. All right, we are back on the road again. We are leaving uh, Duramunga up, which we stayed at last night because we were completely drenched. We managed to dry everything, including our gloves that were completely soaked. We're off to Parunga up which is near Mount Barker, it's 200 k's from here. That's our final destination. We're gonna stay there for five days. Um, we've, we've got the Stirling Ranges National Park right next to it. There's Parunga up National Park to the south, Stirling Ranges to the north, but they're really close to where we're staying. So if we get good weather, we can get out to these national parks and have a really good look around. But this place was a godsend last night after yesterday, that was full on. That was the windiest riding ever. So really good job by Jackie, it really tested her. So um, anyhow, we're all good, we're going to fuel up and we're out of here. You right to go honey? Yep. All right, let's do it. Range Tourist Park, is it? Yeah. Cool. Alright, let's do it. Bronger up, Range Tourist Park. <laughs> Don't sound so excited. <laughs> 500 metres to a winery. Look out. Well, we've heard really good things about this place. Really well set up. Has that first impression straight away. You know what I normally say here, don't you? <laughs> Time to go and do your thing. Oh. You're still smiling from that winery 500 metres up the road, aren't you? Hey? <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see what this place has got. So this will be our spot. Up to that end stump there. Right here, Jack. 
and what's on the ground? Grass! <laughs> we finally got grass back. No more sand, no more ants, no more bull ants. We are kicking goals. Yeah. All right, let's uh, set up and go and explore this town. There we are, all set up. Takes no time nowadays. 20 minutes, done. All set up. Awesome view in the background. Brilliant. I think we're going to love our four or five days here, that's for sure. Heaps of national parks to check out. Winery just up the road. Perfect. <laughs>